Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm here with a very special guest, Jonathan Evans from Total Data Center Solutions. It's his return appearance on JSA TV. <laughs> Welcome back, Jonathan. Hi, everyone. Yes, thank you for the invitation. Yeah, absolutely. We're so happy to have you. So I thought um, it would be good for, for folks who um, aren't familiar with Total Data Center Solutions, if you could just give them a quick um, intro into what you all do for the yes, industry. Uh, well, we've been going for 20 years. We specialize in starting co-location companies uh, and helping them to get off the ground with marketing and sales. And we also reduce the carbon footprint of data centers using infrastructure and, uh, and location. So that's essentially what we do. Excellent. Perfect. Nice and succinct. I love it. Um, and so we were just chatting before uh, we went live here about a few trends that Total Data Center Solutions is helping with and just trends that you're seeing in the industry. And you hit a lot of the keywords like microgrids, AI, immersion cooling. Um, so if you could just chat about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we do battery storage solutions, which we um, have self-funding. So we don't charge for them, which is, sounds like too good to be true. But we, we do that for data centers and we, we reduce their carbon footprint and their uh, power costs as a consequence. And we share the savings in order to repay the cost of the batteries. So that's quite simple and straightforward. And then we can attach solar panels to that and we can create a microgrid as well using that solution. Uh, we're, we're also trying to market immersion cooling, but that's quite difficult still because we're in a very risk-averse industry mm. and people aren't willing to take any chances. Um, so so that's been a, an uphill struggle. I think immersion cooling will take off eventually because mm -hmm. it does reduce the power demands on data centers quite significantly. And the, the water temperature coming off the data center is much higher, so you can reuse it much easier for local district heating. Mm. So that that those are key trends I think at the moment is is the is the is the local grid not being big enough to to, to cope with with all the new data center demands. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for that insight. That's incredible. And um, I thought we would just round round out the interview by talking about the Nordics. And I know you've been working in this uh, part of the world for, for quite a while. So yeah. um, in your opinion, why should data center operators consider co-locating in the well, Nordics? Well, because I've been promoting it for about 12 years, I, I, I think the answers are the sustainable power supplies, you know, which, which makes such a big difference. And we're, I'm also working with Stellium in Newcastle, which we've connected into the Nordics now. Mm -hmm. And that becomes like a, a, a focal point for connectivity between the Nordics and the US. Mm -hmm. So connectivity's got better in the Nordics. Mm -hmm. when, I went, when I first went there, no one was interested in sustainability, which was only 12 years ago, but mm -hmm. absolutely no one was interested in it. And no one was interested in the cost of power. So things have dramatically changed in that short time. And now people are very interested in locating in Norway and in Sweden. Mm -hmm because of the green power solutions there. Mm. Although even there, they're struggling with the demands at the moment, and, and they will be struggling even more when the demands go up to 100 megawatts plus. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, th those are the main reasons I, I promote the Nordics. All right. It's a pretty place as well. Yeah, that doesn't hurt, right? And the Norwegians and the Swedish people are nice people to deal with. <laughs> that's always a nice thing, too. Incredible. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a, that's an excellent summary of why data center operators should consider uh, co-locating yeah, um, in, in Norway, Sweden. And um, so thank you so much, Jonathan. This no is a, at all. It's been yeah, nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you as well. And to our viewers back home, thank you so much for, uh, for hanging out with us here at JSA TV. Happy networking. Thank you.